wore it deliberately. I don't know whether anybody noticed. Mm, my Zambia, my, my responsibility. Zambia, my responsibility. I love this of uh, this organization. So this is a charity that works with. Um, uh, you could look it up on Facebook. They're on Facebook. Um, this is a charity that works with young men. There is a big problem in Zambia with drugs and alcohol, mm. and boys are just going out and just getting involved in all sorts of things. So this organization mentors young men, specifically young men, that's what who they're looking at. And they, you know, got we got on board, we again it's the same thing, saw the thing and they said, what do you do? And okay, come and see what we do. And I went and had, I was one of the speakers at one of their seminars and those boys literally wanted to hold me hostage. They were like we need you, we need to speak to you, and there were so many questions in the end, I had just to be pushed away because there is so much. Now imagine me as a woman speaking to them and they're attached. Now imagine you as a man speaking mm. man to man to yeah. a young man yeah. and just getting in because all the questions they were asking me, I could not answer them. Mm. I really could not answer them because I don't know, you know, from uh, as I answered as a, as a mother, that's the only way I could answer it because I couldn't answer it as a man, not a man. But imagine you've got that joy of having time with these young men. They are hungry for knowledge. They are hungry to hear somebody speaking to their lives. Mm. So there's an opportunity out there in yeah. Zambia for you to get involved. And of course, we've got our charity as well uh, that we're still doing. So very busy running around. So. I want to say something to you that aim to retire when you want to, not when you have to. And I think it's again, it's about age, mm. it's about how you feel in your body. I remember there was a time um, when I was working and I would uh, working here and I would get up in the morning and I would dread going for work and I would feel physically ill in my body thinking, oh my God, I have to go in again. At that point, I knew that I had to, I had to go. But don't get to that point where you feel ill. Mm. If you're chilling on well, if you're chilling on like mm. let me work for you. So, there is life after retirement. Aim to retire when you want, not when somebody comes in and says, Aoi, I'm all tired. They are tired me after a moment. <laughs> you are dragging your feet every two minutes. You are dragging your feet, but yeah, I think it's time to go. I think we we know ourselves, isn't it? You yeah, know? yeah. To my headaches, to my aches, all those things. Could it be your body trying to tell you that you pushed yourself? I'll tell you one thing. When we've been to Zambia, I hardly have any aches and pains. We are tired. I mean, really tired. But hardly. I used to have problems with my knees. Problems with my knees when I was here. In Zambia, before we got the maid, and then, you know, it's one one of those floors. It's a concrete floor, so we would put copra. I used to go on my hands and knees to put the copra and but now we're like a brush here. For me, it was excitement. I think that takes me. I'm not a shiny brush. Exercise. <laughs> on my hands and knees, shining the floor, and I could do that. Because I felt well and I've still got a bit of strength. And you know, there's a thing in Zambia sometimes I think, I don't know how to call it, maybe a little bit of resentment when you're going and you're pointing all the time, you know. People now in Zambia call their you know, superiors or they, who they work for, madam, by madam, by madam, that's what it is. So they're like, yeah, madam, by all this, yeah, madam, you know, as well for good and cheap. But when they see you working, there is something that is ignited in them. When they see you able to do the work, something just works in them that, how on a second this person is able to do this? They're not just sending me out there. So when we're doing our garden, it's one of the things that we're doing. I've got a beautiful garden. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I've got katapa. Mm. I don't know any tomato, onion, what? And I was doing it just for myself, enjoying, but people started coming, ladies started coming to the farm and saying they wanted to buy the katap. They brought mm. themselves. Mm. So now I've got four numbers here, even now, Vanadeo vegetable, she was calling me. Vanadeo, now Vanabrine. Vanabrine comes for the katap, Vanabrine. 
<laughs> but the day comes for Chihuahua and all these other things. So after about a week, two weeks, the catapa is just, it's just, um, sorry. Um, the catapa is just, she comes, she just calls. Or sometimes I just hear in the morning, Mommy, you are going to the And I don't have to go out there and start it. She does it herself. Wow. She goes right to the field, takes all the catapa, and then she hits it up and says, Bani eight kwacha, bani ten kwacha, and chan, chan, chan. So I just talked to it and say, You owe me. Hundred quarter a day. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just love that. So that's that's some of the stuff that I'm doing. I'll get I I don't have gone all over the place, but I I'm trying to tell you about my uh, our life. Um retiring when you want to retire, not when you have to retire. And planning for it. How do you plan? I talked a little bit about you know the how we started with the book and everything and taking all the stuff that we had, going home, where to settle. And there are lots of places that you can invest in now mm. while you're working, while you've got the earning power. That's one of the things that you do when you're planning. Plan to invest in something home. I know you're going to come and talk about bonds and things, but I'm talking about what we did. One of the things that we did before we um, went to Zambia, we invested, uh, I don't know whether you've heard of a company called Bayport. You've heard of Bayport. So Bayport Financial Services. So you invest a certain amount of money in them. They've got a schedule if you're interested. Um, you can you know, see me after. So you invest a certain amount and then you get an interest. Uh, every quarter, every year, you discuss with the financial, your financial uh, manager on how to work it. And we started doing this years ago, and that money then, the interest rates were very good. Very, very good. Mm. Now, they're not so bad, so we've continued uh, with that. So and it's just a rolling thing that we do. The certain amount we put aside, and the money just comes into our account, comes into account, and there you are. The other things that we are looking at is obviously um, real estate. Zambia is now open to so many people. Airbnb is a serious business in Zambia. If you have not thought about that, think about that. Obviously rentals, flats and things like that. This is in Osaka. I think your rentals from Osaka, depending on where you are, is anything from 3,000, isn't it? To 20,000 a month on a two-bedroom house. In Woodlands and in Kablonga, it's 20, starting from 20, on a, you know, a two-bedroom house. So those are wonderful things, figures to think about. And if you're still here and you invest, 20 times 12 is how much? And then if you're here for another three years, <laughs> times three of that, so in that time you could get another piece of land there is land everywhere. Everybody is busy now looking for land. Beautiful area that I would recommend in Lusaka is Silverest, because that's where we are. Silverest, there's a big university, Unilas. Mm. And Unilas is expanding, it's growing all the time. And there are students, international students, they're they looking for accommodation. So people are getting a small piece of land. One of our neighbors in Silverest has got a 40 by 30. 40 by 30 is a probably the size of this room, maybe slightly bigger. Just about. Just about. Just about. He's building six flats there. Each flat will house eight students. And the way it works in Zambia, when they are uh, renting, that they are renting bare space. They are not renting the house. Mm. So each student pays anything from 1,000 kwacha to 1,500 kwacha for the space that they are occupying. So for the eight of them in that flat, mm. it's eight times 1,000 to 1,500 per month. And it's got six of those in a kind of space like this. 12,000. 12,000 wow. a month. And those um, plots in, uh, in Silverest, where we are, a 40 by 30 is 200,000 kwacha, which is about how much? The rate, I think, was 30, 33? Uh, how much? Um, 12,000, 12, 200,000, so 200, that's a plot. And what they're doing with Silverest is 
you pay 40%. And then you pay the rest over 12 to 24 months. So 200 by 33 is about... Six. Six thousand. So you pay three thousand, and then the three thousand you pay over twelve to twenty-four months. And then you build your flats there, then you start getting this money every month. Long-term investment. Other investments that we are looking at is the avocado thing that I was telling you about. So this gentleman again, we are meeting people, and we meet him, and he's talking about the avocado and uh, the has avocado. So avocados, uh, has avocados takes uh, two to four years to, to maturity. And each uh, avocado tree will give you anything from you know, the third year. It will give you about 50 to 100 fruits. And each avocado is about five kwacha. So if it's giving you into the year when it's a proper, proper mature, it's over 100 fruits that it will give you. I think up to about 200 fruits. I don't know if anybody has looked into that. But that's good money. That's really good money. And if you've got half an, uh, half an acre or an acre, you can get up to 100 to 150 trees on that acre. So you've got 100 trees or 150 times 200. So 200 fruits from each avocado times five. And what the avocado does, it increases year on year until it reaches, I think, the, uh, about 10 years, then obviously it's obviously mature. And it will give you fruit up to 40 years. So that's another, you know, big investment that you could do. Because if you went and got a piece of land, even the 40 by 40, or you got an acre, and you're not ready to start building, you could put avocado trees there. Hmm and start reaping from that within three to four years. Hmm. By the time you are retiring, you've got your five-year plan, you've got a nice little nest in Zambia to start on. The other things that we have looked into is the short, mid to short term, which is our vegetable, vanadeo, and then that's everyday money. That's money that I use for bread, that's the money I use for fuel. That's the money I use for talk time. So I'm not going every day to the bank to go and withdraw from my little you know, pot to pay for these things. I'm using these vegetables and I'm using the moon coil to pay for these other things. And I'm getting so much enjoyment from it, so much fulfillment from it as well. So those are the things that we are doing. But that is not the end. There's a lot more out there. Mm -hmm. um, my husband and I, uh, looking at the, the climate and I mean, what is going on, decided to, I think it was you people that made us do this, decided to form up a company. Mm. And we have a consultancy. So each and every one of you here, you are invited mm. to come and scan a QR code here. Wow. And then we'll get back to you to discuss any investment <laughs> opportunity. Because I get so many phone calls. I, I know there's people that run me. And I decided, no, I'm not going to spend 30 minutes talking to an Amaruza and I get nothing out of it. No, I'm going to get nothing. They're working. <laughs> yeah. So please see me after. I've got a QR code for you to scan. And then you can register and then we'll get your details and then we can talk one on one on anything that you would like to know. So we have a, a company called Gravitas. Mm. Wow, wow. <laughs> Tell us more. Fully registered, ZRIA, ZPP, um, Workman's Compensation Fund, everything done. Wow. And we're up to date with everything. You can just check us out. Gravitas, I think it's Gravitas Biomedical Services. So my husband is a biomedical um, engineer, and I'm excited with what God is doing in his life. Really, really excited. We are visiting a lot of hospitals and seeing what we can do in those hospitals. And so far, it's really, really exciting what the doors that the Lord has opened for him in those places. Mm. Mm. Uh, what else yeah, have I got on here? I talked about Airbnb, I talked about avocado, I 
and fruits and vegetables. And I've talked about what we do on an every day to day basis. I've got two dogs. I didn't have dogs here because I couldn't keep a dog in the house and it's running around and things, you know, because I'm there, we keep dogs outside. No <laughs> 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 disrespect to those people who have dogs here. No, no, not at all. So I've got dogs. We feed them. I go to shop right by my bag, you know, bag uh, of bones. So it's really, really fulfilling because I've got dogs and I'm looking after them, taking them to the to the vet, you know. And I'm now a dog person. I never was a dog person, but now I'm a dog person. My dog uh, was involved in a little accident, and sadly one of them died. The other one got a big cut on his leg. I took it to the vet, you know, they stitched it, and we came back home. And when we we're away the whole day, we find him by the gate waiting for us, and it's so excited to see him. It's just, I don't know, our life is just, I, I'm excited. I'm really excited about wow. what God wow. is doing. Um, the other thing that we've started doing um, is building. Zambia is a construction site. Oh, yeah. Everyone is building. Everyone has got a plot that they're doing something. And it amazed us the price of cement, the price of this, the price of that. And you know, there's, there's contractors doing the wrong thing, they're doing that, they're doing that. And we thought, you know what? I can just get in on this as well. We are into everything. There's a scripture that in uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 11, I think it is. Ecclesiastes 11, verse 2, I think it is. Ecclesiastes. 11, verse 2, I think. 11, verse 2, the Bible says... From verse 1, sorry. From verse 1. Cast your bread upon men waters, for you will find it after many days. Give a serving, a serving to seven, even to eight, for you do not know what evil will be on the earth. That's it, thank you. Other versions say invest in seven. Yes, even eight. Yes. In my ventures. version, it says invest in seven ventures. Yes. Wow. In eight, you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. Mm -hmm. Invest in seven. Yes, mm, even, even eight. in eight. And if eight, why not ten? Mm. Wow. Praise God. Mm. Why not? So there, there, there are contractors everywhere. They'll build your house up to a certain level, they'll build you, they'll finish this, they can do the windows, they can and we're seeing this and thinking, hang on a second, there is a market here. So why not get into it? Why not get into it? Because we have got the advantage, no disrespect to Zambis, but we've got an advantage of looking at things from this side of the world and looking at the quality from this side of the world. So why not be a contractor? By, you know, Gravitas. Remember that word, Gravitas. That's our company. <laughs> why not? Why? Why? Because with contractors, I'm not the one building. I'm the one who's looking for a builder. I'm the one looking for a plasterer. I'm the one looking for a roofer. And looking after those people, making sure they're doing the work, supervising them. So why not do it? Everybody's doing it. Might as well. Seven, yes, eight ventures. The other things that I got into is when, you know, these kitchen parties, they're everywhere. In Zambia, it's a big thing. So I was in a committee and they were looking for chickens. They says, good place, where can we buy chickens? I was like, you can buy chickens. Well, I, I don't have a chicken run, I don't have a single chicken, but I said, you can buy chickens from me. <laughs> because this kitchen party is in October. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. Wow. The kitchen party is in October. So what did I do? I went to look for somebody who's giving chickens. How many chickens are you giving? Oh, we're 250. Do you have space for 250 more? Yes, we do. Okay, how much? And they worked out the sums for me. And they, they bought a chitele, they bought everything, and they said, we can do the chickens for you. My chickens were being sold last week. Wow. So we're getting another lot. By the time October comes, I'll have all those chickens that they want to come and get Wow, wow. I went, I was in another committee where they wanted uh, you know the village chicken? Yeah, village they're chicken. They're so expensive, Ooh, they're 150, chan, chan, chan. I said, I know how to solve this problem. 
This my territory is in August. I went and bought chickens. Four chickens in Mkolwemu. Right now, I've got three hens that I've laid. One laid 10 eggs and hatched all the 10. The other had 12, hatched all the 12, but suddenly one died, so I've got 11 from that one. Another one presently is sitting on eggs. 10 eggs, my husband. I call for updates. <laughs> <laughs> the other day there were wow. 10 eggs there. So that one is probably going to start sitting on those. So in a space of about two months, I've got how many to my chicks now? 31? I've got 31 chicks. So I've now got 36 chickens. By the time I'm at I must have some chickens to sell wow. to them. And I'm not selling them at 150. I'm going to sell them at 100. Wow, wow. So that they come back mm -hmm. to come and get some more. Wow. This is what is keeping me busy. Wow. And then I have so much, we have so much that we're doing with the, you know, the charity and everything. But I wanted to touch, touch on just one thing before I can speak forever. I, I have to give time to the other speakers. <laughs> it's about winning hearts and minds. This is uh, something that my husband kept drumming at me. When we go to Zambia, we have to win hearts and minds. Win hearts and minds. Because when we, when we go back home, when they look at you, they say you've got a lot of money. So you must solve their problems. You don't have a problem with them so anyway. And he sat me down and said, we can't help everybody. We have to make a decision which people we're going to help and how much we're going to help. She mm. down on the chapa. We're not going to start looking from somewhere else and saying to Bafui. Yes, they will say all this, that and the other, but that is our plan. Because she ain't being when that money is finished. Guess who will be laughing? Mm. They will be singing songs at Piri and Abwe. It's true. Yeah. They, will have, they will be singing songs at Piri and Abwe that they've got nothing. They forget that you've helped them yeah. with all sorts of things. So we have made up our minds how we're going to handle ourselves and how we're going to deal with Kuli Fidila all the time. All the time. All the time. There's the kitchen parties all the time. You have to contribute. There's the Chipilangamudelo. You all eat. There's weddings. You, there's sickness. Everything. You have to decide now how you're going to handle that. And you're going to decide now who you're going to look after in your home. If you are. But one thing that we have felt that it is, it is difficult. We've got different way. We are now different from the way things are done in Zambia. And if you live with people and you say to them, wash your cup, wash your shine, you know the way we do things, make that way. It begins to bring tensions in, in, in your home. Well, there's all those things. So you have to decide now how you're going to live there. Because otherwise you're going to be miserable, really miserable. They, it, life can just make you miserable. So we decided that we're going to use this principle of uh, winning hearts and minds. We are going to stick to the script. We're not going to deviate from it. We're going to stick to it. Uh, one of the things that we do is time. If we've got an appointment with you, you're not there this time, we actually leave. Yeah. People don't like it, but tough. Mm -hmm. That's the way it works. If you're not there, we are gone. Mm -hmm. If your relative will treat you this way, and we'll stick to that script, we cannot help every chicken. You can't help every chicken, Jack. Mm. It's not possible. Unless maybe I don't know how much money you have or how big a heart you are. But one of the things that we have done with workers, this heart, you know, winning hearts and minds with the workers, is not being elevated enough. Maku, you okay, you know, you're going to do this, you're going to do this, and just demeaning them in the work, you are not going to go far. Yeah. Mm. Treat people with respect. Treat yeah. them well. Pay mm. them well. Mm. They will always be loyal to you. Mm. So what we do is we make sure we sit down. We have contracts with people that work with it for us. If you're going to work for us, this is the way it is. We're going to register you on the Workman's Compensation Fund. We're going to register you with the um, um, the medic med med medical one. What is that medical one? Nima. 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 Yeah. So that you can go on. You say you're on Nima. We'll register you and all that. We'll pay you well because we're expecting you to work well. 
and we are not going to disrespect you, we are not going to demean you and call, you know, an elderly man. But Johnny, when I go, I say, I say, we will treat you well. So what do we do when we go on site, on this building site? We go and sit down and say, Nanule Epiko Gwadi, Nanule Nayaka Gwadi. Nalati Nangulo Msalu, I will do the vegetables and whatever. And she might, did you have the other, yes. some photos? If you could show us some of the, the photos on there. Oh, I didn't talk about the Yango. Uh, I might talk about it, but if you, I don't know that you can see that pot, not the, the previous bit, that pot there. I hope you can see it. I don't know that you can see it. That's the one we cook in Shima. <laughs> we inside. That's a big pot there. And we put on plates. I hate plastic plates. But that's what we had at the time. So they would put our Shima on plastic plates and I'd be like, I need to come with plates when I come next time. I need to come with plates. So why do we get a bunch of plastic plates? And they have decos on those plastic plates. She deco na Shima no kuyema. <laughs> but you don't say anything. No, no. no. You don't want, and sometimes they'll be like a soya. You know, you'll be like, no, which one? I'll just eat vegetables because I don't like square pieces. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I love vegetables. So we'll put the vegetables and eat the vegetables. Because you don't want to make them feel bad and say, oh, she has soya in it. And, what? and they'll be, they, they will talk about you. But I move forward and so do you want them to go away, you know, feeling bad about No, I don't want them to feel bad. I want them to leave. When I leave, they say, well, Madam Mary, you know, know what? What do I care about today? All those things, you're winning hearts and minds. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want those people to do, because they steal from you. But if they know that you are part of them, it's very unlikely that they'll steal from you. The guy that is a, a caretaker of one of our properties, there's nothing you can say to him about us. No, you can't. You refuse. He even locks the gate and says, Ah, oh, my mommy did watch the fish. He can't. Because we look after him. Every now and again, you know, he, I asked him, Have you, could you call one mosquito? He says, Ah, you are a mosquito, good man. I went and bought a, a mosquito net. I said, you will sleep under the mosquito net because I do not want you to get malaria because it will be my problem if he gets malaria. Mm. How do you get from here when we send him? Go and check on this. Thing. How do you get from here to the, oh, I walk. And I thought of the distance of the world as far. Mm. We went and bought him a bike. He is now a star in the area. I was just on a mosquito net. Why are we doing that? Because we want him to look after us. We want him to look after the things that belong to us. And so sometimes we find he has come with a tree from somewhere Uko and says, this tree, you should plant it here. I was like, what tree? He starts explaining to me. He has a family diarrhea. They will tell you all sorts of things. He has a family diarrhea. He says, okay, all right, let's plant it here. Because I don't want him to feel like, oh, you know, he's not part of us. He is part of us. He's just looking after our property. So winning hearts and minds. And don't forget about Gravitas and the QR code. Come and see me. But I think I will leave it here. I didn't touch on. Is there another uh, set of photos done? So that's me, the, the other one, sorry. That's me at a hardware shop mm. in my uh, work suit. <laughs> Overall. That's the young man there with Bamlewa. Putting uh, fertilizer, I think, on the uh, on the crop. Well, we didn't do very well with the maize last time, but you know, hey, hey, hey. And that those are uh, cassava cuttings that we were taking to the farm. That those are the Macaulay sticks. There's another set of uh, uh, pictures that I just want to talk about. That's, those are my chickens. That's my uh, cassava there. Is there another lot? Okay. This one here. I'm in a KBBK. Oh, <laughs> For those of you that do not know, KBBK is uh, you know the uh, UCZ mm -hmm. uh, women's Christian. Mai. Yes, women's is not when I'm women's Christian, but it's KBBK. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So when uh, I was, you know, I've always been UCZ. I know a lot of people th didn't think I was, but I've been UCZ for ages and ages. And when I went to church. Um, 
and we were meeting with the women and there's all sorts of things going on and we had to go through the lessons to get back into the church and they said, oh, what else would you like to do? I said, oh, KPBK, you know, and that's how we went and did all our 